Hey there YouTubers, my name is Carl and today I'm going to show you how blind people use the iPhone. So here's my iPhone 8 Plus, I have voiceover enabled. Voiceover is the text-to-speech or screen reader that's pre-installed on all iPhones, in fact all Apple devices. Android have a similar screen reader on the, their phones or devices called TalkBack. Um, I don't have security enabled on the phone so I, I open or go into the phone by pressing home button. Um, the speech is set fast. I usually use it this fast. Uh, let me slow it down. So everyone else can understand. That's about right. Um, how we navigate the, the voiceover is you can drag your finger around the screen and yeah, what, you, what icon or app you're on. Facebook, music, Facebook, phone, email, etc. To enable voiceover, you would go to settings, general, accessibility and turn voiceover on um, but this changes the whole behavior of your phone so there's another way of navigating the screen if you're not sure where something is and you don't want to drag your finger around you can basically touch anywhere on the screen say i'm looking for music i touch anywhere on the screen and i swipe right or left i swipe right Camera. jumps one app to the right Zero. left music. there's music if we want to open an app, I can touch, say, on Facebook, where I know where it is on this phone, so I touch on it. Facebook. Um, I can either touch, tap with a second finger, or I lift my finger and double tap to open it. Um, Facebook. Then we have Camera. at the bottom your Notifi news feeds, requests, requests, notifications, notifications more, etc. If we go to notifications, notifications, it gives you, I can read the notifications. Happy birthday, Herman. News feed. Now I can scroll through my, the, the posts. It tells you the person's name, how long ago he or she posted, and then what he or she said. And so I can scroll with them using one finger, uh, swiping right or swiping left to go back. If I want to go down or up a page in Facebook, I scroll with three fingers up to them, down to the next page, next page, and so I can go back. Page to like or reply to somebody's post, I can double tap with two fingers on their post and uh, uh, to see and Alert. it gives choose you an choose an action, like, like react, react, comment, comment share, share, more, more button, whatever, cancel. 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 Um, that's basically button. Facebook. You can obviously, uh, I can post, I can add my own post, add photos and all that. What's cool is VoiceOver will try and describe a photo that somebody posted. It will say, person may contain sky, tree, person, whatever. Um, what I'll do now is also quickly demonstrate how we interact by typing and that sort of thing. Um, there's, a, there's a perception that blind people only dictate their messages and stuff on these devices. It's not, not always true. I like using the on-screen keyboard because I don't like always talking to my phone in public. But I'll show you all the three ways I've available, uh, which is typing on the on-screen keyboard, dictating or using Siri, uh, which is basically the same as dictating. Um, a lot of blind people use Bluetooth keyboards. So we're going to WhatsApp for that. I've set the voice slower than I usually use it, so we just bear with me. I'm going to actually speed it up um, so I can search quicker. But when we read back a message, I'll read it slower. Okay, I want to go to new chat, top right, I found it, I double tap. And then I swipe to right to the edit field. And I'm going to look for a good friend called Chainsaw, unusual name. So now I'm going to touch type on the keyboard. I've got two modes on the keyboard, normal typing. You find the letter and when you hear the letter you want, you lift your finger and double tap. Touch typing like I've got it now. You find the letter you want and you simply lift your finger and it will type. Um, most of the time I touch down on the correct uh, character because I have a very good mental image of the keyboard. So let's type chainsaw. I'm just taking the phone slightly there. I'm just putting in chain, search. Should come up with chainsaw at the top. Trucks, that's he's a truck driver. That I didn't put his correct surname in. Double tap on the result to go into the message area. Keyboard comes up. Uh, there is actually a message already that I think. Hi chainsaw, just testing, crying face. Ah, that's what I did on a previous thing. So I'm going to try and uh, quickly delete that. Uh, double tap on the message to get to the end. 
end I kind of delete I just delete sometimes you can hold down the delete button there we go it's deleted it and then I'm gonna just retype high chainsaw this is how I touch on the touch on the on-screen keyboard comma How are you doing? Um, how's the truck going? Need to do that. Apostrophe. S. Oops, made a mistake. Ah, I keep lifting my finger when I hear the correct truck going. Question mark. Now we have access to the emoji keyboard as well. So if I go to the bottom left, go double tap on the emoji thing and it brings up the keyboard. Confused face. And then you drag your finger around the keyboard to find what you want. Slightly frowning face. Neutral face. Surprise face with open mouth. So it reads everything. Crying face. Let's put that in. So I lift my finger, it puts it in. I'm going to slow down the speech rate. So I can hear the message I typed. Compose message. I touch on there. How are you doing? Capital H. Oh, okay. Didn't read that. You've got to swipe over to it again. Text field. Now it'll read it. Hi chainsaw. How are you doing? How's the truck going? Crying face. How's the truck going? Crying face. Uh, maybe I'm a Volvo fan and he drives a MAN. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, if I want to send it. I can look for the send button above the keyboard on the I right, send. but I don't want to send it. If I want to send, I would lift and double tap. I'm going out. Chats. Back button, chats. Edit. Let's speed this voice Volume up. Contain headings. Ah, wrong way. Uh, what I'm using here to change the different modes is um, the rotor. Um, you twist, you put two fingers on the screen and you rotate it like a turning a volume control. Um, if I want to spell his name out, um, okay, he's obviously not there GMC. because I didn't send the message, message so let's create a new search. message new and I'm going to actually do the dictate feature. Heading. So I'll still do a normal Cat manual search, search. search double tap on the search, search field, field. Search go field. look for Gideon this time, just put first few letters of his name, search, Gideon Lutz, that's him, double tap on it, message area comes up. Um, now I'm going to dictate to him a message, so there's a dictate button at the bottom of the, next to the space bar. Double tap it and dictate my message quickly. Hi Gideon, comma, how are you doing, question mark, just testing WhatsApp, full stop. Double tap again. Inserted, hi Gideon, how are you doing, just testing WhatsApp. Okay, so that's the message. Say I want to spell something in the message. I go. Test. Hi, Gideon. I go double tap on the message, message. area. Hi, get insertion point at start now it's at the line. start of the line. Hi, now what I do is I can use the rotor function with two fingers on the screen and I go to characters and then by swiping down I can spell H I space cap G I D E O N. If I want to spell out the words, I rotate the rotor function one words. more to the right, and it says words, and I can go up or down Gideon. a word. Gideon, comma. Gideon, comma. How, How are you doing? doing? Question mark. mark. Okay, and then you've got actions as well. So what I'll do is I won't Chats. send. I'll go back out. Chats. Gideon there his, his chat is, so actions I want to delete available. that. I can either spell it, characters, characters but I rotate actions. one left to actions, and I'll swipe down to layer more. more. Double tap on that. Alert. Delete chat, delete chat at button. the bottom, Alert. and then I delete chat. Delete chat. Delete chat. Delete chat. There we go. It's gone. Edit. Okay. Now the other thing is I can ask Siri to fully do something. I can ask her to send somebody a WhatsApp or SMS. So let me ask her to email a very good friend of mine, Eric Becker, who builds the model steam trains. Um, so I'm going to say, Hey Siri, email Eric Becker. What's the subject of the email? Just testing email. What would you like your email to say? Hi Eric, comma, new line. Just testing my email on the iPhone, full stop, new line. How are you doing? 
question mark. Here's your message to Eric Becker. It says, Hi Eric, just testing my email on the iPhone. How are you doing? Ready to send it. Cancel. Okay, I won't send it. Hey Siri, thank you so much. Your wish is my command. <laughs> She's got a sense of humor. Yeah, of course I could have said yes and she would have sent the email. Um, What's nice about Siri, uh, we can ask her to look something on the internet. Uh, there's so many things. Uh, I mean, a lot of sighted people use Siri, but it helps blind people a lot as well. Um, even stupid things like, hey Siri, what's the weather today? It's currently clear and 18 degrees in George. Expect wind starting in the afternoon and clear skies in okay, the Okay, cool. That's enough. Thank you. Um, that's... 18 degrees Celsius, by the way. <laughs> um, besides Siri and it, typing and all that, there's a lot of apps on the iPhone that help blind people, such as an app that uses a camera to detect colors of items, um, text recognition app to, you can scan a page of text and it will voice it back to you on the phone, or you can scan a, a, a frozen box of food out of the freezer and it'll tell you whether it's fish or chicken. Um, and then there's an uh, app that joins a network of sighted volunteers and they, through your iPhone camera, can tell you what you're focusing on and what they see. So they can help you if you're on your own at home looking to, and you can't see what it says on a screen or something. So that's pretty cool. Um, there's all sorts of apps, GPS apps where you can make your own landmarks and uh, all sorts of things that help with navigation. Um, I use my Area d and &E app to make landmarks like my friend's gate, I can say Mary's gate. Um, the phone app itself is very useful. Phone. If I can go into the phone, I just want to speak, make Words. it faster. Speaking volume, 70%, um, Contact at the bottom. And then say I'm looking for, uh, let's say our Reverend Pete. So I'm going to just go to search field and type in P. Search. Now it will come up with a whole lot of P. Ah, these are the top one. Okay. If I had to double tap on that, uh, it will give me the option to call, send message or whatever. I'm not going to go in there um, for now. Or I can tell Siri, just call Pete or whatever the surname or if, it just says, if I say Pete, it will want to know which one. Um, I also have a few apps that are useful to me, like my remote three for the AV receiver, um, for the surround sound where you can control um, inputs, you can program uh, the FM stations, go browse the TuneIn radio internet app for stations, read the media on the USB, set up the sound levels and all sorts of things. And I've got for the alarm system as well. And yes, my, for my model trains, which I've YouTubed on before. Um, it reads all the active locomotives. So if I want to choose 15F, I've got the throttle there, forward, backwards, lights on, all the different functions. So it's pretty cool. And you can even program it from the iPhone. Program the CV as a constant variable. So there's a lot of apps on the iPhone that can help us blind this. Um, just another thing on the top, you've got your status bar on the iPhone, which reads your carrier and the strength and the Wi-Fi strength, um, the time, orientation is locked and 48% battery power. You can swipe down with three fingers from the top to, to bring up the, uh, the, the notifications. And then you can also touch on the status bar at the top and then swipe up with three fingers to get your uh, quick settings, your configuration or what's called the control panel. So that's basically it for the iPhone. And let me just get the camera back onto me. And thanks so much for, for watching. If you enjoyed, please subscribe for more. And um, I'll see you next time.